السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome in Al Andalus Primary Private School for Boys and welcome in English Department. Today, inshallah, we'll talk about Week Revision for Grade Two. Uh, so as we studied uh, in the previous two weeks, uh, we talked about uh, this and that. Uh, so we use this when we talk about a thing, only one thing, like a computer, when it's close to me. So if the thing is close to me, I use this. So we say, what's this? It's a computer or this is a computer. Since it's close to my hand or to me, so we use only this for one thing. Now, when the thing is far from me, I use that here. So I say, what's that? It's a sharpener. Why that? Because that is for far thing. When the thing is far, it must be only one thing. So here we are talking about only singular things. So a computer, a sharpener, a ruler, and a whiteboard. So because they are one, we use this or that. As we said, this when the thing is close to me and that when the thing is far from me so let's move to number three what's this or that it's a ruler so the ruler is far from my hand so we use that so we say what's that it's a ruler okay number four what's this or that it's a whiteboard so since the whiteboard is close to my hand or to me so and it's only one thing so we use this so we say here what's this it's a whiteboard so again uh, dear parents so here when we talk about only one thing we use this and that this when the thing is close to me and that when the thing is far from me now let's move to number two or slide two here uh, look and write use this that this for one thing and it must be near to me or close to me that it must be one thing and far from me these here these with long e we say these when we have two things or more and they are close to me as we see here down in number two we have two whiteboards so we use these and they are close to me they are plural here those also when we talk about the plural but they are far from me like down here in number four okay so we say here number one what's that that it means far from me and it's only one thing so we say it's a book the book is far from my hand so we use what's that in number two it's a sharpener here the sharpener is only singular and it's only one thing but it's close to my hand so what do we use here we use this so we say what's this it's a sharpener in number three as you see we have two whiteboards so they are whiteboards they are more than one they are two and it's close to me so we use what here we use these here because it's close to me so we say what are these as you see here we have r so r when we use r when we have more than one here in number one and two we have is what's that what's this because it's only one is here when we have more than one we use r so R, it means here we have this because it's close to me. The last one here, what are those? R, it means more than one. Okay, they are plural. So we use those here and they are far from me. So we say they are computers. Okay, again quickly. So when we have a thing that is far from me, only one thing we use far. When a thing, it's only one and it's close to me, we use this. When we have more than two things, we have R and these. When we have more than two things, or two things, sorry, more than one thing, and it's far, we use here what? We use those. So what's that? What's this? What are these? And what are those? Okay? So look here. The difference between this with short E, we say this. But here we say these. Okay? So that just to make difference between them. Now let's move to uh, the last slide here. Read and circle, yes or no? Read and circle. Now, uh, before we study, I mean, before we do this uh, question, please, I mean, uh, let the children at home, when they read, underline the important words. Like, my name is Ali. 
my name is Ali. So he's talking about his name. He's, my name is Ali. So he's introducing himself. I'm from Qatar. So Qatar is a city or it's a country. So when we talk about Qatar, it's a country here. So where are we from? We say we are from Qatar. So Qatar is a country. I have got three pens and four books. So I have got three pens. Three pens is a key word, Han, and it's an important word. And four books also, so it means four. Four is very important here. For what? We say four books. So students must understand the text before doing any question. My bag, so he is talking about his bag here. My bag is brown, so the color is brown. Okay, so now when I finish reading this text, I have to answer the question down. Number one, Ali has got two pens. So as we see here, we have number two here. So two is underlined, so we must underline two. So in the text up here, he said, I have got three. So down is two and up is three. So Ali has got two pens. Is that yes or no? Is that true or false? So it must be what? No, because he has got three pens. So he must focus on the number here. Maybe students say, we have pen and we have pen here. Okay, pen is shared here, but we are talking about the number. In number two, Ali has got four. Four is very important here, and it's a keyword. So Ali has got four books. Is that right? If we go back to the text, he has got also four. So four books. So it's that is, means yes. Uh, the last one, Ali's bag is red. Ali's bag is red. Here in the text, Ali said that my bag is brown. So his bag is brown, not red. So here we must say what, or we underline uh, no. It means that is false, not true. And the last one, look here, there is no order in questions. Maybe he said, I am from Qatar at the beginning, but it was here the last question. So where is Ali from? Where is Ali from? Is he from Egypt? Is he from Syria? Is he from Qatar? Where is Ali from? So as we see, we say Ali is from Qatar or he is from Qatar. Or if the student writes only Qatar is enough and that's true. So that's all for today. I wish you hope and enjoy the lesson with us. Thank you very much and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.